hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn about send keys action in power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started in power automate desktop there is an action which is called as send keys and you will find it under the mouse and keyboard category in the actions pane okay so today what we are going to do is today we will work on a notepad where we will write some text and we will see how this send keys action works in this so let me go to the mouse and keyboard category and drag and drop the send keys action here you can see that it says send keys to the application that is currently active this is what it is used for and here you can specify where you want to send this keys so you can specify foreground window or if you choose to ui element so you will capture the element and then you will send the key inside that the next option is window and instance handle so for that also you'll have to capture the you know so if you for example if you have launched the excel the instance will be created and based on that you will be able to send the keys inside it and also you can capture it by title or class so if you capture it by title or class then you will be able to send the text whatever you want to write okay so what we are going to do here is so today we are going to work with the foreground window and after that we will get an option to you know specify what text you want to send so here you can see that input as text variable or expression so if you have created some variable which has some value you can directly come here and specify the variable name or you can choose it from here okay and also if you want to write some raw data for example hello world and then you type it in the in some application that will also work next is insert special keys so when you click on this drop down you will get multiple options so for example this one here you will get uh, in the miscellaneous you will get comma period space enter backspace all these keys you will be able to send in the arrow keys you will get up down right and left these are the keys which you can send and in the function key you will get all these function keys if that is required for your automation and then you will have numeric keypad so in this you have this for num lock enter add and all that and then you have insert modifier which is which is control key on your keypad or keyboard left control right control alt and shift so these are the keys which you can send and when you are writing uh, some text into into an application or into a ui element at that time you can also specify the delay between each key stroke right so for example here it is by default 10 so you, you it is it is 10 but if you want to increase it you can increase it that way so it is 10 milliseconds here you can see that it is specifying specify the delay in milliseconds between sending keystrokes to avoid input errors so for example let's say it is possible that your bot is writing some text into a specific application or ui element it might be very faster so you can make it slower by increasing this number the next is send text as hardware keys 
sometime there will be some ui element or some application where you will not be able to write the text the way you in this format right in that case you can enable it and try it out this will be very helpful to deal with those applications where this normal typing does not work okay so you can enable this and then try it out it will work in this action you also have this on edit property in on error property you you will get options to handle the errors in case there is any error while executing this action so first one is retry action in this case what you will have to do is you will have to specify the number of times you want to retry this action and what will be the interval between those retries okay so if you want to make this 10 seconds you can write 10 seconds and how many times you want to retry it let's say i want to retry three times so bot will retry this action three times at the interval of 10 seconds right so the next action is here you can specify the rule okay so let's say if you want to set some value to this variable right and based on that you want to check whether this value is 1 when this error has occurred on this action you can also invoke some you know subflow if you have created for example let's say there is was any error so you want to immediately log that error into a log file so you can invoke this uh, that specific subflow which will write the error in the log file and then you have this option as continue flow run so where you can specify whether you want to go to the next action if this action fails or you want to repeat this action or if you want to go to the label right so this is how you can set the exception handling for this particular action okay so now i'll go back to the return to parameters and here what i will do is i'm just going to write hello world and in this case i'm just going to click on save so now i'm going to work with the notepad application where i will write some text okay for this what i will do is i will take the focus window action focus window action will bring this notepad application in the foreground so i will choose type by title or class and then i will click on select window here you can see that the window has been captured the title is untitled notepad and the class is notepad i will click on save and i will just drag this action on top and then i will use wait action to wait before typing so i will just specify two seconds and then i want to send hello world in that application i will just right click on it i will run the bot And here you can see that it has been able to write the word hello word i will just select all and delete it now i will go back to the send keys and let's say what i want to do is so after typing this hello word i want to enter the enter keyword right so i will just go to this place and select or uh, enter
you can also manually type the enter and then let's say if you want to press enter five times so you can just put the colon and then number of times you want to press enter okay and now let's say if you want to you know select all the data that you have written in that case you can go to the insert modifier after entering five times enter key then i want to select all the words all the data available in the notepad in that case what i can do is i can go to the insert modifier and select control and then what i can do is i can inside that i can specify a curly bracket and then a right if you hover your mouse over this here you can see that this is how you can use the special characters so this time i'm going to use control and a so which will select all the text available in the notepad i will click on save and go to the notepad and here you can see there is no text available I will go back to the focus window right click on it and then press run from here the bot is running it will wait for two seconds and then it will write and then it has executed hello world okay so this time you have seen that it is working very fast so now what you can do is you can you can delay this typing I will go back to the notepad, clear the text, right click on focus window and run from here. And this time you can see that it is waiting for one second before writing any other character. So five times it has entered the enter key and then it has selected all the text available in the notepad so this is how you can use the send keys action in the foreground window same way you can still use the ui element or window instance handle or title or class to select the window if you want to make some you know something encrypted you can type this word like this then if you click on save you will it will not be visible in this uh, in the workspace so the values whatever you have entered as an encrypted text that will not be visible but when you open it and then when you go to so now you can't see anything because it is already encrypted but while typing for example let's say i'm typing one two three four five six and then you can see this value you can again hide it and when you press control when you press save button and then you come back and try to see it that will not be possible right so this way you can hide if there is some uh, some private word or private data that you do not want to show this way you can hide it so this is how you can use send keys action in power automate desktop if you like this video please press the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section Thank you for watching. Have a great day.